Hey guys, this is Nate Story with Bright Agritech, and today we're going to talk about carbon dioxide and different ways to generate or supplement carbon dioxide in your growing environment. So if you're an indoor grower, you know that we take a really hard line that you need to be supplementing CO2. There's just no way you can grow indoors without really aggressive ventilation or without supplementing CO2. That's just all there is to it. Today we want to run through different types of CO2 uh, supplementation and kind of how you do those. So there are three big ways to supplement CO2 in the growing environment beyond just ventilating the environment really aggressively. Uh, the most common way is to uh, burn some type of fuel. So this would be natural gas, propane, something like this. We're burning it in the environment and we're releasing the carbon from that fuel and using it to create CO2 in the growing environment. The second way, which is also fairly common, is to just use compressed CO2. So you just have a bottle of CO2, a big bottle, maybe a 50 pound bottle, 100 pound tank, something like that. And it's, there's a regulator attached that essentially will release uh, CO2 into your growing environment as your uh, CO2 sensor and your control system tells it to. The third way is to actually, uh, and it's becoming more popular, is to actually use like fungi or some other kind of decomposition process in the growing environment itself. And uh, this is becoming more popular as people will get uh, basically uh, these uh, bags full of uh, matter that have been inoculated with some type of fungi and they uh, will decompose and the fungi generates a lot of uh, CO2. So uh, that is kind of the third way that's becoming more and more popular. Now the most expensive way of course is to use the bags of uh, fungi. They're very, it's, it's an expensive way to do it. You have to ship this heavy kind of material there, you have to manage it, um, and it's a little less predictable than other CO2 generation methods. The second most expensive way to do it is bottled CO2. Now a lot of people just compare bottled CO2 to natural gas or to propane on a per pound basis, but that's really wrong and we'll dive into that a little bit more in the next video which is on uh, CO2 generation and carbon density of, of different uh, feedstocks, right, fuels for carbon supplementation. So that'll be in the next video. but. The reason uh, that tank is more expensive is because the carbon density of compressed CO2 is actually lower than the carbon density of something like compressed propane or compressed natural gas. Uh, it's kind of strange, but it's totally true. Now the, the cheapest, the best way to do it is to actually burn propane or natural gas in your growing environment. And to do that, we use things like uh, these uh, CO2 generators here. They're uh, devices that are basically uh, burning natural gas or liquid propane in the growing environment and as it burns these hydrocarbons it creates water vapor and CO2. So what does this mean? It means that CO2 generation is m much much cheaper than any other method. However, you're also creating a lot of water vapor and you're creating a, uh, a lot of heat right in the growing environment. So understanding that is key. Now to do that I recommend you use the calculator on able.egg Go to able.ag, click the calculators, then click indoor ag, click the CO2 generator, and you can actually compare the cost of CO2 generation, different fuels against bottled CO2. And you can also see what the BTU outputs and the actual costs on a daily basis are for running your system on those different fuel types. So I definitely recommend you guys doing that to get a better understanding of what uh, these will actually cost you, uh, both directly in the cost of fuel and indirectly in the cost of dehumidification and cooling because those are indirect costs that are really, really, really important to understand about the CO2 generation process. So, I hope that gives you guys a good overview of the three big ways to supplement CO2 in your growing environment. Remember, you have to be doing this. If you want to understand the process a little bit more, go to able.ag, click on the calculators, click on indoor and CO2 calculator, and uh, that will do all of the work for you and show basically what your CO2 cost is going to be of running your facility. Thanks so much for watching. If you have questions, uh, check below and there will be a link to able.egg below as well.